All right, today what I got going on, I'm going to try put this tripod that I made over the top of my cucumbers here. As you can see, my sunflowers are already falling over. They need something to hold them up. We all need something to lean on, don't we? Sometimes. And I've got to do something about this corn because pretty soon it's going to be leaning over too. I was thinking I'd add more dirt in there, but I think I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to find me some sticks and kind of corral it in together with some root maybe. We'll see what I do. Alright, so most gardeners, farmers, or anybody that does anything outside probably has some of these laying around. These are your little hay bale strings. I've got so many of them, tired of seeing them, I'm about to use them. So I just tied it up real quick. That'll give something for the cucumbers to grab as they get taller. And it'll help hold up my sunflowers as they get taller too. Now as it gets bigger, I'll add more string to the top of the teepee. But there we go. Alrighty, I'm going to show you how crazy my herb garden got in the past week. My tiger lilies are blooming. How pretty they are. I had to hold them up because the water keeps knocking them down. Got a sunflower coming up. Now look at how crazy this looks. Now, I had all this stuff planted at this end of the garden. Apparently, the seeds got washed down and mixed together. So, it's coming up like a jungle. Whew. Sometimes you make me wonder. <laughs> Get all the pretty purple flowers. Sorry, it rained really hard last night. Everything was so... Well, actually, it rained this morning, too. Everything's kind of laying down right now. This cilantro. I did not even plant this here. This was from last year, and it just popped up. Got a green marigold. My elephant ears are getting huge. That's why this thing. See what I'm Harry said? I don't know. That bush, I don't know what the heck that is, but it needs to come out of here. I should have cut it out before I even started my garden stuff. Oh my goodness, and all of this. Okay, I don't know if this is lemon grass, lemon balm. Uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it all got mixed. From my turmeric. Even that got put too close to my turmeric. I don't know what happened there. That obviously wasn't up, and I had forgot I had planted it there when I put the tomato. So I'll have to end up moving that tomato anyway. But oh my goodness, what a jungle, what a mess. Just in a week or two, that's how big everything is popping. Oi. Something better hurry up and bloom besides those flowers in the back, because. This ain't so pretty like that. <laughs> I just planted this kale and it's already popping up like crazy. Let's see a little sucker and another little sucker. Look at all them suckers. Got some tomatoes coming up on this. Yup, yup. This one, I, don't, I should have separated these. It's too much in one pot, and they're too close together. So I don't know how well this one will do, but 
We'll see. I picked a bunch of that. And I'm making more plants of it. And I've been picking the heck out of this. And I've dried some already. And I've also sprouted some more from some clippings off the top. And that thing just is monstrous. So I'm so glad I put that in a pot and not in the actual ground. Because that would probably be taking over something with the corn here. It rained so hard. It knocked a few of my stalks over so what you do about this let me tell you what i'll do i gotta come in with some dirt and very strategically fill in some more dirt around here just to give it a little bit more grounding base my, tom not tomatoes, my potatoes Huge okra getting huge now. This morning, this is the zucchini. I mean, the yeah, that's zucchini. This morning, this thing was laying completely over sideways, which I don't understand too much because this this is one of my sticks I just put in to hold it up, but this was the original. This was the original stock right here and for some reason it was laying completely over this morning because it rained super hard last night but when i use sticks to prop up plants i'll point the bottom of the stick away from the base of the plant and i will aim the stick at an angle toward the plant i don't know if you can see how that one goes, it goes down and at an arch this way, right? Okay. And this one is the same way. It's away from the root, but it's arched toward the, and I've got them crisscrossed. So it's got a little spot to stand up in between each one, each stick. You know what I'm saying? That's holding it up for now. Now, with it being that top heavy already, I'm probably going to come in here and snip this up a little bit and try to make me some more starts from some of these pieces i haven't done that with a fig tree before but i also hadn't done it with my elderberry and that worked out so we're gonna try it just for just for the giggles here's my apple tree must be doing something a little good because it's got a little growth on it. So I gotta fix that. Okay. Apple tree that I just planted a few weeks ago. And it must be doing good because it's got some new buds. We'll see. tomatoes on quite a few. Oh, look at this. There's my yellow squash. I got a baby yellow squash coming. Ain't it cute? There's another one too. There's another one. It's a pretty yellow flower. I wasn't sure if Putting the sticks around these were going to hurt the roots or anything. Apparently it didn't. I think it helped it a lot holding it up. My peas. i got to get out here and bend these up a little bit better too when it dries up some. But yep, got all kind of stuff coming up. My blueberries are getting bluer.